Hello there everyone, this is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play The Infected. Woohoo! Been a while since we've been here. I haven't given up on it, it's just I was waiting for some updates and stuff. Oops, I forgot to do one thing and that is, what is it? Uh, video, foliage, density. There we go. So. Today we're going to be going over the new update, which is the builder's update. You might notice something with the wall there, but uh, we'll get to that. First things first is they introduced triangle foundations. They also introduced ceilings. They have the access, the glass, the uh, concrete, I believe. We have the, uh, you'll, you'll have to upgrade to the concrete, in other words, you place down this, then upgrade it. They added in the flat roof, the corner triangle, and the inverted. This will help build some new buildings in the process, which is going to be nice, and, the, and I'm curious what we'll be able to achieve. Nothing for stairs. Nothing for railing, so doors, pretty much that's it. So we'll, that's that part. So we're going to go and do something real quick. In other words, I, I will get to this. So one thing, another, another thing I've noticed in the process is this. Uh, something that's new also is when you build something, watch and listen. Not sure if you heard that, but it now makes a sound effect. It also creates a little puff cloud, signaling that the structure was com uh, finished. See? Poof! Poof! So, I'm not used to that sound, so I'm not exactly sure how to feel about it. Also, if you want to get a decent circle like this, the best way to do it is to place down six triangles and then place down a square, triangle, square, triangle, square until you complete the circle. You can make it bigger and get more uh, circle and more triangles, but there's a point where stuff uh, that you need to start at the, you need more foundation angles. For example, I'm not sure if I can get away with this here. You can rotate it and it will have snap points where you can just like snap it into place. Uh, dang, I had it there, there. And you can repeat this for however wide you want. And uh, there you go. The issue is, is as the more you build it, it it's not going to, there's going to be certain points where it doesn't match up properly. Like this here is one, and then it goes one, two, wide. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around instead of one, 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 one. So I might make it bigger later, but if you're wondering what the hell this is, what I'm doing here, this is going to be a little uh, place to relax. And the, some decorate. oh, speaking of, for some reason, the, um, the water place here is missing part of its texture. It looks like an inflatable black... Uh, bouncy house walls which looks kind of cool but with the top there it and the window it's kind of eh. however admittedly I would like it to take on one of the textures that we uh, you saw as we walked by first let me get some more uh, Planks because we're going to be chain after we get the foundations here completed, we're going to uh, 
start dealing with this stuff. And personally, I like the gray. The red's nice, not, but I'm not sure it, it works too well for wood, in my personal opinion. And I love red. So, yeah. I'm hoping foundations eventually get the same treatment and ceilings. Because I would appreciate that too. Ah, dang it. One, two, so three, six, six short. Dang it. Alright, we'll get that. Then we'll um, move on to the next part. Which is basically just uh, re re redoing this. Personal opinion, up doing the upgrade cost is expen or uh, reskinning is expensive. Eight planks to change the um, skin or the color of the uh, walls for at least the door and that I believe. I don't know about the curved walls yet we'll be checking that out all that fun stuff but still all right let's get the rest of this done and the thing is if you want to figure out how to do that you'll probably figure it out very quickly but if you haven't you're going to need your uh upgrade tool and what you do is you right click and it pulls up a hmm interesting sound effects but you pull up and then you can click on here you have a choice between normal and curved then you go and you got wood brick and concrete this is effectively tells you you need dried bricks uh dried uh bricks and this will change the pa texture pattern red might work for bricks and uh Dark might work for bricks. Oh, does concrete not have a... Oh, yes, they have two different textures here. You, you have what looks to be solid and uh, what looks to be one, two, three, three, a three by three little square setup. Not sure which one the cheat, what one would be nice for that, but still. Like I said, I'm hoping they eventually add it to the rest of this, and that's actually getting a little noise, annoying swinging around like that. Now, this is a little bit uh, it, uh, misleading at first, because if you look at it, you're like, ooh, roofs, what, what type of textures? But if you look, roof caps. In other words, you can now change the caps, which is actually very, very helpful. Because some, uh, if you've seen one of my previous series, I used quite a few of these roof caps, and I wish I could have upgraded them and retextured them to like brick or concrete or something else. Admittedly, the paint job is kind of, eh, so I'm probably gonna do no paint on most of these. As you can see here, that's just like ew. I want I I. I like I said, this I really hope they add in more uh, skins and textures as time goes on. But I definitely enjoy this because now I can right click here, go to here, the wall, wood, and no paint. Boom. I can just go through and upgrade or not upgrade but reskin these and like i said eight planks is expensive to be able to change this i personally would like it to see it because it's just a reskin as you see 100 and this one is 100 there is no uh difference between the two I don't worry. If this upgraded this to let's say 250 uh, hit points, or it provided a thermal insulation, so when you have it and it, you have a stable thermal temperature, I could see it being eight planks. 
but just to change the skin, I would prefer to see it a bit closer to two. I don't know if doors will get one yet, but there is no ceiling and there is no foundation and there is no door. There's also no uh, railings either, as you can see. Walls, doorways, windows, half walls and caps. No, no other things, which kind of sucks. And it's like, dang it, I wish they had those, but still. And I'm going to have to see how I'm going to build the roof over there because I, I, since we're not using curves, we won't have a curved uh, roof. We'll have something more of a triangle roof. Okay. So we'll grab more of these. We'll continue to upgrade as time goes on. And I actually should add in some railings over to this area here and then add in a another pathway. I'll probably continue this one straight on over to here or maybe mm, actually will this one line up with that one because I might make a pathway from there to here and then a pathway from there from here to let's say right there so you you go across then you walk over that way and all that fun stuff and then this one would connect over there and then i would have a pathway from there over to there probably i still would appreciate some different triangle foundations i would prefer let's say a 5 degree, a 10 degree, a 15, a 30, and a 45. That will cover a lot of shapes and would help significantly with building. Uh, railings? I think he ch they chose uh, the 30, 30, 30 because it's perfect for the wall and perfect for the railings. In other words, ta-da! You don't have to worry about because if you did a 45 here, you would need to either have the wall stretch or adjust accordingly or put in a specialized uh, triangle wall to fit across the 45 degree angle and the few other angles. So I don't know if we'll ever see those t ang angles, but still. Now the question is, do I put the poles? Oh, speaking of earlier, I would like a fire pit and yes I know we already have a campfire but that isn't the same thing what I want is something that is concrete and bottom with a, a brick bottom and uh, let's say about about here let's can we oh i guess you can't see this i was oh there we go i was gonna say and about this wide so it goes about this far in circumference and it has brick around it so you can make it like cost like 50 bricks and uh like 10 firewood and actually, yeah, that would be about it on cost. And, or maybe put in one iron so you can have a grill on it. So you can use it like a barbecue. That would be a nice little aesthetic design uh, thing. All right, let's continue on with getting this all set up. Pull this back out. I'm glad it, re it retains the... What? Uh-oh. I am... Um, I think I discovered an issue here. Ah, oh, you mother... You... Sure. Why? Great. Don't you love when you accidentally discover something? 
Okay. Uh, Alright, so that goes to that. We need half walls here. Cancel. I'm gonna have to delete that stupid wall, rebuild the stupid wall, and re-plank uh, it. Uh, don't you love that? That's why I think costs should be a little bit cheaper. Hmm? Ah, you... I accidentally grabbed that. Another thing would be nice is some kind of auto drop. Like we can go here and we can drop a certain amount so we're not sitting here doing this for 20 minutes. Getting rid of any excess sand because we accidentally grabbed from it rather than So, got to be careful on how fast you move through. I just just learned that, so I'm not sure how long that's going to take before that gets fixed. It kind of annoys the hell out of me. Oh well. I mean, it's early access or at least I think it is, and there's new updates. So and so with new updates, you're going to come across bugs, issues, unforeseen consequences but it is definitely worth it especially as you let the game uh continue to develop so if you see this game and you're like eh, give it some time it will get better i mean i started playing this like version like 10 or ish somewhere in there and uh, or actually, I started right after the military camps were upgraded to, uh, what do you call it? Upgraded to pounds instead. So I never got to see the military camps, but I did get to see the towns of the previous map and all that other fun stuff. So let's continue the upgrade and we're going to have to be picky about how we do some of the stuff we do because I kind of don't want to make this expensive as hell by accident. All right. There we go. That's the one thing I love about this texture. It's uniformity. There's none of the stupid cross beams here. You can just boom, boom. Oh. All right. I, I, I have it still set on. Oh yeah. There's no steps either yet. I'm sure there will be as time goes on. But. I'm definitely loving this uh, new little setup here. Actually, out of stupidity. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Like I said, out of stupidity, I was curious. And yes. Nice. Uh. Awesome. I, I guess I guess I shouldn't have done that. I I do hope that I I do I do hope that gets fixed. Uh okay. <laughs> gotta gotta be careful. Actually my yes. Awesome. Question is... Ooh, sweet. Yeah, kind of figured that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, don't you love... Unique problems? I will say... 
I will say, be careful when you're upgrading. If you accidentally try and speed upgrade, you're going to experience quite some interesting results. That is something I can say for sure. Alright, we need to log that all back up. We need to log this all back up. But at least I know the it results. It, that, that building thing is going to take some time for me to get used to. Okay. Oops. Nope. Alright. No, not that. Because for some reason, doorways, windows, and curved walls what it will upgrade to whatever the hell you have it to. So, uh, yeah. Although, that just gave me an idea. I could potentially upgrade this wall into a uh, curved. Boom. That's going to take iron ingots. Alright, let's upgrade this. Window. Curved. This. And that. Boom. Ooh. The window turns out really nice. I love that. Yep. I almost accidentally... Upgraded that. Oh, we're out. Uh, I will say, like I said, it's too expensive, especially when you're doing major massive builds like uh, this. But the aesthetic still is yes, please. I love the, the aesthetics of this. I don't think I'm going to get around to the entire structure and I really want that goat. Because last time, uh, or my, uh, animals died, so I need to grab that goat. Because I don't, I'm hoping it's a female. If it's a male, I'm killing it. If it's a female, sweet. They also fixed Mike's repairing, uh, issue, so yay. He's capable of repairing somewhat. Oh. You mother F nugget deer. I thought you were a goat. I don't want to cry. Alright, well. Close that. Woo! We're going to continue the upgrade and all that fun stuff. Alright. We'll get more of this onto here. Because I want to make sure we've got that. Probably will burn through all of this too. Oops. Alright. Upgrade. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah. This is a looking amazing. Oop. Definitely love this new new update other than the occasional oops oh all right I was planning to add more grinders I need to like hmm all right well let's switch this to not that this that that this oh wow ten Holy mother flip nuggets. Like I said, too expensive. Like, no joke. Way, way too expensive. For for these, it should be like three. For these, like two. For these, mm, I'll take four. And realistically, I'd prefer four for that too. In other words, four being the max number of planks needed, and that's for curves. Two for, or three for these, and two for the half walls and half stuff. That's my preference, but you can't always have what you have, want right now. 
hopefully we'll see that in the future. Definitely need to reduce the cost, in my opinion. Because it's kind of, well, in my opinion, it's stupid. Alright, I'm glad that didn't work. There we go. Oops. If those are half walls, they're becoming full walls. The hell? I did not expect that at all. Oh, wait, what the hell are you guys doing over here? You die. Oh, I hear a goat. I want him. Hey, that needs to be fixed. Ow. He must have busted through one of my walls. to take care of any injuries. We need to go and deal with a couple other things. I would like that goat, but I need to make sure I don't die. And I probably should have checked out this, although I shouldn't have had an attack. Uh, I think the noise value meter thing is broke. Because I have the grinder. I have the oil pump. I have the fridge. Those should be the only things generating uh, noise. And as you can see, holy mother flip. 0.5. It's varying between four to uh, about five. That's increasing way too fast. Like way, way, way too fast. I'm not sure what the hell is causing that to be cre increasing. Like there seems to be some thing. I got distracted. Oops. We need one of some of these. I need to create a dump chest. And I need to go back through and fix everything. I'll just dump everything in here. Yeah. I'm assuming this update caused some bro break broke uh, issues. Question is, where the hell did they break in at? Although it is possible he could have just jumped through. As these should not be generating noise because otherwise, uh, that's stupid. So far it's, oops, so far it's looking like he jumped through. I'm not seeing any bro broken fences just yet. I would have liked to have gotten that goat, but first we need to do an inspection.
And dang it. They got through over here. Okay. Actually, you know. Oh, there's double goats. I'm gonna grab that other goat if it's a female we're keeping it if it's a male we're chopping them up oops out of stamina we're gonna but I uh, yeah that noise value meter is broke it shouldn't be speeding that fast like it hasn't even been 20 minutes since my last attack. Right. I lured the goat in here. The goat feels like it's dead. Oop, out of stamina. Alright, we're gonna get the goat in. We're gonna try and get that other goat. And, uh. I'm hoping. As quite a few things will be fixed. First off, the upgrading needs to be <laughs> fixed. And I'm hoping their ability to jump into here gets fixed. Adult male, sweet, you're dead. Male chick, you're dead too. You're dead. And what about you? Are you male? Okay, so you're dead. There we go. And food. We need food. I hope they add a cowbell onto this at some point. Because I would appreciate the ability to hear when my animals need food. And I think I'm going to only make it where I have roughly uh, two milk and two eggs because the food drain rate, it, it gets excessive when there's more than uh, four or five uh, animals. So in other words, when there's ten animals, it gets really excessive. Let's go grab that last goat. Let's hope it's a female. Knowing my luck, it's a male. We're gonna have to get this fence repaired and we're gonna have to prepare for another attack. I think I only have one of these left. Nugget. It's duck. Sweet. There's a lot of broken things this episode game. Alright, well, I showed off the triangles here. I showed off the interior texture, the texture thing. I showed off be careful when using the texture thing. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I showed that the, the enemies can jump through your fence and the fact that they can uh, well besides jump through your fence and the fact that the noise value thing is rising very very fast so if you guys enjoyed please like if you didn't I understand it was just me trying to show off some new building things, some new stuff, all that fun that bit. We're definitely going to be getting this in. I do hope the reskinning gets uh, more touch up, like maybe we can do this half of the wall. Like I could do this half red, this half white. That would be a nice little touch. 
If you guys want to see more of this series, make sure to check out the in-screen credits. As there will be, I will do more on this series as time goes on. Depending on what the next update is will depend on whether or not I actually start a new world or not. Because this one is pretty well close to being do done. I just got to get the roof done. And then realistically, I can change the t texture. Anyways, if you want to see other games I play, check out my channel. I do play other games in the process. And if you want to be added on to the in-screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain period of time, I'll add you on. If you leave before I reach a thousand, though, I'll remove you off. Because it's for people who gave me a chance. And obviously, if you left before I left, you're not giving me a chance. For now, I'll have to say bye-bye and see you next time.